Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Raquel Jeanette here. So as you can tell by the title, I gave into the hype, I decided to buy something kind of ridiculous on the internet. And if you're wondering exactly what I'm talking about, it is this baby right here. It is the Beauty Blender washing machine. So um, yeah, this thing has been going pretty viral on the internet and I've been hearing mixed reviews. Some people say that it works really, really well and it cleans deep down into your Beauty Blender. Other people say that it's just totally all hyped up and it's just bullshit so we're gonna see what happens I decided to get the black and white or black and gold one as I thought it looked cool um and then also this one has a drying feature on it you can see that it has like a little basket that you can like put inside and dry I'm assuming dolls clothes because this is by the way intended for children and it is a child's toy so people are advertising it online as a actual beauty blender washing machine when it's really not um just to throw that out there it's nothing really too important but people are using kind of false advertising with this baby because when i went on uh, amazon i purchased this for 8.99 plus free shipping as i have prime um but yeah they were advertising it as a beauty blender washing machine so i was like okay um but yeah, I, like I said, we're just gonna test this out today and see exactly what happens. But yeah, I have two beauty blenders here. One is dirtier than the other, so we're really gonna test it out and see exactly how well it cleans both of them. Um, this does require two AA batteries, so just keep that in mind in case you're trying to buy one. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and test this baby out. I mean, clearly it's in a different language, like all the instructions, but I feel like it's pretty self-explanatory, so. Let's go ahead and open this baby up. But first, before we continue, if you already know where I'm going with this, if you could please hit that uh, subscribe button and that notifications bell down at the bottom. It would really, really help me out and I really appreciate all the love and support that I've had so far. Thank you guys for believing in me and even listening to my crazy ass. I, I just really appreciate it. So enough about me. Let's just go ahead and get on with the video. But uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a second. All right, so I lowered you guys down a little bit so you can kind of see everything that's going on. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. So there's some tape here. I don't know, you guys. I really think that this actually might work um, in my true, honest opinion. Um, but then again, I don't know. I mean, I guess every, there's like a couple brands out there, um, different types, so hopefully I got a good brand. All right, cool. open her up all right so this is it right here oh it's so cute wait a minute I don't even oh, okay I was like where's my little like where's my little girl on the side but I guess they give you stickers <sighs> how cute oh my gosh they give you stickers so you can like stick it on yourself well why not I might as well Ooh, look at her isn't she cute Cute. Hey girl. So next is just like the fake little dials and stuff like that for the washing machine itself. Um, obviously we're not gonna be using any of those but it's just a cute little sticker. Why not? Just like so and she is almost ready to go. I just need to add the batteries. So ooh, the bottom is kind of beat up. Not too sure what that's all about, but I mean, I even want to show you guys. Look, it's a little scratch. I think you can see it. Can you see it? No, oh, maybe not. The bottom's like scratched up. Like, I don't know what that means. Was it like refurbished? <laughs> Someone returned it or something? All right, and I have two AA batteries right here. Pop these in. Pop this back on. This is the tiniest screw and I have the longest freaking nails. We're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. Okay, so the batteries are in. I also wanted to show you guys the inside of the barrel here because um, this little component comes out. Um, this is for the drying um, feature. So, or the drying cycle, I guess you could say. So I thought that was really cool. That was one of the reasons why I bought this one. Um, not just because it was black and gold and it looked cool, but because it had the drying feature. And I was like, oh, that was the first time I've seen that. So we definitely should try out um, the drying cycle today. Because I feel like, um, I thought the barrel was gonna be a lot smaller than this, but it seems to be pretty big. So 
I'm excited. We're going to try this out. So let's go ahead and uh, let's get going here. Um, okay. So I'm going to take out this little, hold on, let me just look at the instructions. I really hope I know what I'm doing here. You guys, I don't even know if this comes out. Am I supposed to just wash it and dry it with this basket in here? I don't know. All right, so I zoomed you guys in so you can really see what's going on. So oops, I have the washing machine here. And as you guys can see, I was able to take out the little basket that was in there. So you have a lot of space. Um, and of course, this little basket here. So we're going to set that aside. I believe that's for the drying cycle. Okay, so it is full with water. Um, not too full because I don't want it to overflow. I also realized that I don't have any like beauty sponge cleaner necessarily. So we're just going to use some good old dish soap. So I have some Dawn dish soap here. We're going to put a couple drops, oh, more like several drops in the water. So we have our soap in. So I'm gonna take the one that's less dirty. This is the, I believe, Eco Tools Beauty Sponge. And as you can see, it has a ton of foundation all over it. Um, it's like caked up on the top here. So we're really gonna try to get this one clean. Um, so I'm gonna drop it in. Ooh. All right, let it sink down in there. Are you guys ready? Are you guys freaking ready? Okay, here we go. <gasps> It's like not even moving. <laughs> I mean, it seems to be making a little current in there. I know you guys can't see it too well, but like, here, let me try. It's making a little current, it's trying. All right, so I think I'm gonna leave it in there for like another like 30 seconds, and then I'm gonna flip it and have it get the other side, because I think this is a little, I mean, obviously it's not like some high class washing machine. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna give it a little bit of help, so I'm gonna flip it over in a second. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and let's check the front and see exactly how clean it got. Mm. Oh no, I mean, let's just, let's give it another shot. Here, I'm gonna add a little bit more soap just to see if that helps. And then we're gonna drop it in um, on its butt and see what really happens here. Here we go with the other side. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, it's trying, look, oh my gosh. Look. Oh my God, there it goes, there it goes. <laughs> yes, oh my gosh. I was trying to see some action, like it was just sitting there. Yes, there it goes. Yeah, yeah, this is so satisfying. Oh, and I'm spilling. And just see what it's looking like. Let's squeeze her out. Wow, a lot of stuff came out, you guys. And I don't know if it was just the soap that was just doing a really good job at um, getting everything out, but let's just squeeze it out and see. Okay, I feel like it got the bottom way cleaner than it did the top. And I don't know if it's just because this was all caked on and maybe I just need to do it one more time or for longer, but this is what it's looking like, you guys. I mean, the bottom is not bad. Like, I'm pretty pretty shocked how well it cleaned that, but then again, you know, it is a little children's toy, so I'm not expecting like the world. But yeah, this is the first blender down. All right, and now we're going to uh, drain the water. So let's do that. Ew. I mean, yeah, you guys, it did get a lot of makeup out, so. Okay, and she is empty once more. So now we're going to try with the dry cycle. And I just want you guys to see, oh my God, I don't want to spill it. But yeah, you guys, the water is pretty freaking dirty and it's, like thick muddy water like thick so i mean it did get a lot of makeup out you guys so i mean hey uh, i mean not bad so now we're gonna move on to the next one um i will be right back let me go get some fresh water and fill this one up all right so i went ahead and dumped out the basin here and then i also got some fresh water for the next beauty blender but first 
I want to try out the drying feature before this beauty blender completely dries up so let me go ahead and pop in this little basket here see if it's in there all right so it's in there like so yeah it's still pretty wet it's like if I yeah if I squeeze it there's still water coming out I don't know if you guys can see yeah so it's still pretty wet so we're gonna give this an honest review I don't know which side I should put in first probably this side just because I know it fit pretty well before okay all right so it's in there all right now we're gonna hit the drying feature and see what happens um, it's struggling oh my god it's super struggling you guys and like when I okay there it goes because it wasn't working when I closed the little lid about now it is let's see All right, I think that's enough drying for now. I'm getting hungry. So, I mean, clearly there's no um, like heat involved with this. This is just battery operated. So I'm not expecting it to be dry really at all. Um, I just thought it was kind of fun to try to use the dryer. Uh, but yeah, let's just see how much water is still left in here. Oh. Okay, well not much. I mean, oh, well. There's still drops of, oh yeah, okay, there's actually a lot of, <laughs> there's still a lot of water in here, you guys. So this is the water that came out of the Beauty Blender after we use the drying feature. Again, I'm not expecting it to be like top of the line. It doesn't even have a heating feature, so I wasn't expecting it to dry it at all. Really, I just thought it was cool. I just thought it was like, you know, a nice little touch. So now we're going to move on to the second uh, Beauty Blender, and this is the actual Beauty Blender brand so this one is pretty old um, I actually just found this in my drawer but yeah as you can see it's kind of beat up and it definitely has some dried bits at the top and this one had a lot more uses than the other one so yeah you guys don't judge me um, it's pretty dirty and yeah we're definitely going to leave this one in for a little bit longer so let me go ahead and get my water one more time all right so basket is out water is in already as you can see it's like floating around at the top okay so now we're going to take the dirtier of the two the original beauty blender and um, oh let's not forget our soap add some soap I'm gonna add a little bit more soap than usual just because it's really dirty um yeah so let's drop her in and this one should fit you guys because it's like a lot smaller than the other one. Oh, you guys hold on I poured too much water one second. Let's start her up. Ooh, look at the suds going. That's what I'm talking about. All right, I think that's good enough for one side. So um, let's squeeze it out. Let's see. Uh, that is the bottom half. <laughs> I mean, the color is kind of starting to come back. This was supposed to be a light, like, beige nude when I first bought it. So, I don't know. Let's try the other side now and then uh, give our final thoughts. Not as much spinning as before. I'm not too sure if it's because the tip of it is like pointy and this part was a little bit more cushiony so it was able to grab it because there is like a little spinner down at the bottom. All right, so let's go ahead and check it. It's been like about two minutes now. Let's go ahead and see what it do. Squeeze all of the water and soap out. Okay, so this is what we are working with. 
Um, you guys, I mean, did it get it cleaner? Yes. Is it the cleanest? Absolutely not. Um, and of course it's not gonna be able to do anything about that. That was just my nail that dug in there. But it still has a little bit of crusties up here, like dried foundation. Um, I mean, the color is starting to come back, but I feel like I would have to use this little machine like five more times for it to really have any sort of, you know, for it to make any difference. But I mean, hey, what do you expect from like an $8 toy? I mean, really. Okay guys, there is the dirty water and got a lot of makeup out, I have to admit. Um, this is also the little basin if you guys just wanted to see. So of course down there is the little spin mechanism and then you have the drain down there as well for emptying out the water. So yeah, um, let's go ahead and try and dry this little one right here. It's shaking, it's so cute. Oh my gosh. It's so freaking cute, you guys. Oh, look at it go, it's trying. <laughs> What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. I mean, I feel like the bottoms got a lot cleaner than the top, which I'm surprised, but I'm not, because like I said um, earlier in the video, these little tips right here had like built on, like caked on mascara, uh, not mascara, foundation. And you know, it'd been sitting there for a while, so I'm not too surprised that it didn't get the top too clean. But um, I mean, the bottom, this one's still a little dirty, so I don't know, you guys. I mean, yeah, this is, it is what it is. So um, I will be right back. I'm gonna go clean everything up. Okay. All right, you guys, so this is it for the final results. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below whether you think this is a total waste of time or if it's something that you might actually use. I mean, as you can see, the bottoms got way cleaner than the top. Um, and like I mentioned earlier in this video, you know, the tops had a lot of caked on foundation and concealer and it had been sitting there for a while. So I'm not too um, surprised that it didn't get this very clean. Again, this is an $8 toy, so I'm not expecting much. But yeah, I mean, you know, for the bottom half, it's not too bad. I mean, I feel like I'd have to do a couple more washes and cycles for it to really get legitimately clean um, to where I'd want to put it on my face. But yeah, you guys, I mean, it's, you know, it kind of did the job, right? Okay, so we are back. Um, so yeah, my final thoughts on this product. Um, clearly, it's a child's toy, and I think it should be kept as such. Would I use this on my Beauty Blender again? No, honestly, no. I mean, was it a fun idea? Yeah, it was cool. It was like, oh, I'll just watch it go, you know? But it's, I mean, you guys, it's a, it's a child's toy, so let's just leave it at that i mean it was fun to play with but i definitely don't think this is practical um it's just kind of like it's just kind of like okay whatever i mean that's just really how i feel about it, it, it did it work somewhat um again like the beauty blenders they got cleaner than they were before but they're not totally totally clean and i have seen um some people um, some videos that they did get all the way clean and again mine might have just been a little bit dirtier than others or maybe I wasn't using the right soap I don't know but I mean this kind of did a mediocre job to me but again I wasn't expecting too much because it is a freaking eight dollar child's toy all right you guys so that is it for today's video I really hope you guys enjoyed watching again please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and that notification bell down at the bottom because it really does help me out and also you guys my next video is going to be a challenge video which I have not done a challenge video on my channel in a while and I'm really excited about this one because it could go either really well or really really bad so can't wait <laughs> but yes you guys thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video bye